Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for February 20th through 26th. Let's get right into your reading and see what is happening for all of you guys this week. Show me Virgo spirit. What do you want Virgo to know? We've got summer energy, time to act, sprout with breakthrough, and white feather with angel guidance. Okay, so Virgo, this week it's going to be time to take action on something. And look at the bottom, we've got noticed coming through, okay? And the reason why this jumped out at me is the green here and it's time to act and then the green here and breakthrough and then the green grass surrounding the white feathers. So green is very significant to Virgo this week and green is healing uh, to the heart space as well as abundance coming in, okay? so. Oh, and see, look at, um, this is right under the bottom, which would have been the next card. Forgive them. Yes, some of you are absolutely going to receive a heart healing this week, a maybe even a reconnection, all right? But overall, Virgo, something is coming in, something is being offered, something is shifting here, and you're going to need to take action. As a general reading, what that is is different for each of you but you're very guided in the action that you need to take. You're gonna feel it quite strongly. There will be no questioning or wavering. It's like, yeah, this I know this is what I must do. And acting upon that is gonna create a big and beautiful breakthrough for you. Also, this is a week where you're standing out being noticed. Um, peacock feather, white feather, feathers also being a theme for you guys, so. When you see feathers, that is a sign from your angels, Virgo. Confirmation for you. Pay attention to the feathers. And the color green as well. Like, I feel that the color green is also significant on its own outside of heart chakra or abundance. It's time to make your move, Virgo. I feel like that was a theme for uh, your last weekly or your monthly that I did for you guys. All right, Seven of Swords. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Eight of Wands. It's going to work out. And Five of Swords. Your angels are guiding you and protecting you from defeat. Okay? You've just got to believe in yourself, Virgo. It's it, like the Seven of Swords... This could definitely talk about trickery and uh, deception, but what I feel here is this is more leaning towards where we really doubt ourself, we're questioning ourself, we don't feel that we are up to task or that we are enough of something, okay? And Spirit's like, no, Virgo, you, you're fine, like all is well. And when you take the action towards whatever this is for you personally, the energy starts moving quite quickly for you. And anything that is not in your highest good, you are being protected from that, okay? That Five of Swords defeat, your angels are protecting you. They're going to open your eyes to anything that isn't aligned to your highest potential, your highest good, the most positive outcome for you, all right? They're going to open your eyes to that. You're going to see signs and synchronicities. And when it's, you know... Uh, trying to prevent you from something that's a warning sign or a red flag, right? So things that are not good for Virgo, you're going to see red flags around it, warning signs, things that are meant for Virgo, it's going to feel right, like it's just going to click inside of you and you're going to get signs, synchronicity, and confirmation, all right? Your angel's really talking to you guys this week. This could be talking about multiple things that are playing out for you guys as well, Okay, as this is a general, like, don't hold back this week, take action, speak your truth, have no fear, you're very divinely guided, also, you're standing out, you're being noticed, so 
goes plus some more tarot. Right, we've got the Emperor, Temperance, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and a King of Cups. All right, so we got two strong masculine energies coming through, and this could be in part of who's noticing you, who's offering something to you. And also the two of pentacles there at the center. Oh, Virgo. Some of you, this comes down to a choice you must make this week between two things. It could be between two people, two jobs, two places to live, two cars. You know, it's different for all of you. And you, you're really kind of torn initially, like which is the best path for me. And that's why your angels are coming in so strong saying, Virgo, we will give you the confirmation around the path that is aligned to your highest potential and good and will give you red flags around the path that is not aligned to your highest potential and highest good. So a lot of guidance this week, Virgo, um, in a choice that you have to make or just anything in your life where you're being prompted to take action, to speak up, uh, to state your truth, to move forward in some capacity, you are protected, you are guided. Do not hold back, don't let fear get in the way, don't let self-doubt get in the way. There's a happy outcome for Virgo this week. Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Moon, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. Okay, so you guys have like a lot of people coming through and you're reading an Emperor, a King of Cups, a Queen of Wands, and then we also have a Knight and two Pages. All right, but yeah, this up here, Virgo, don't let your own self-doubt or negative talk prevent you from moving forward or making a decision. Really believe in yourself. Really trust yourself. Also, anybody around you that may be being negative, not supportive of what you're doing, your plans, your truth, etc., Ignore them and take action according to what feels right in your heart, okay? And even though um, the energy has been slower moving, it's now going to pick up the pace for you, Virgo. Once you decide, once you take an action, a movement forward, the energy is really going to pick up for you, okay? And like I said, you are being protected. So you're going to get red flags around something that just isn't the best. And then you're going to get a lot of beautiful signs and synchronicity around what is right for you. And, you know, try to be unbiased in the reception of those different signs and synchronicities. And there will be no question inside of you what it means and, and what you must do in accordance to that sign or that red flag that you're getting, okay? And yes, for some Virgos, there is somebody that's going to come in and offer you something this week, okay? And this may be where you have to make a choice. I do feel for some of you, this is like um, between two jobs, like I'm getting that very strong. And also for other Virgos, like single Virgos, there's like two people in your life. And one of them is really uh, going to start pursuing you and wanting like a deeper commitment from you, wanting more from you. And I feel you're going to have to make a decision like, am I ready to commit to this? You know, um, 
do I like this other person I've been seeing better? Like it's some of you, it's a choice between two people and others of you, it's a choice between like taking two jobs. And as a general reading, Virgo, this could really resonate in any area of your life. You're living your life, so you will know. And no matter where it's playing out, your angels, your spirit guides are like, we've got you, Virgo. You don't have to worry. We're going to lead you in the right path, in the right direction. And that being noticed, just realize that your worth and your value is higher than you may feel or perceive in this moment. There's a manifestation. The 20th is the new moon. Balance, healing, restoration coming to Virgo. And remember, you've got a positive outcome for this week. But you've got to decide or take action. And you'll know what to do. Because your spirit guides have your back. All right, reaching out. It's time for you to reach out and ask for the help you need. Okay, some of you, this might be that personal truth. If you've been doing a lot for somebody, going above and beyond, and you need something in return, or they've been asking too much, and, and you need them to, you know, recognize and realize and become self-aware of the energy they're taking from you, this is your message, Virgo. It's time to speak up this week. Speak your truth. Even if somebody doesn't like what you have to say. Integrity. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. See, Virgo, your heart knows the way, okay? And you might be like confusing uh, the message of your heart from the desire of your mind, but it, it, again, it's like your heart, your soul knows the path to your highest good, highest potential. Follow the signs. Go the other way with the red flags. All right, processing grief, my losses prove how deeply I loved. Okay, so this right here, Virgo, this is a message outside of everything that's come through. For those of you who have recently lost somebody, I feel like um, a loved one or maybe even a pet, this uh, feels like um, organic. This isn't like a lost item or something like that. It's like a person or a pet, they may have passed on prior to this week. Okay, this isn't like it's already happened prior to this week. And this is a message from spirit, as well as your departed saying, do not grieve, I am still with you. And the fact that you feel this so deeply inside of you is a reflection of how deeply and freely you loved the vulnerability that you were capable of, the experience you shared. All right, so there's a lot of love and tenderness. That could also be why the angels are coming in so strong as well, is because some of you have been in the process of going through mourning and grieving of a person or a pet, an animal that has transitioned back into the non-physical but their energy is still very much with you, okay? With this card coming through for sure, their energy is with you and the angels are helping soothe you and that's just a little extra to come in, a beautiful sign for some Virgo out there, all right? So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.